This is a video demonstration for syncing payments using the Pineapple Payments QuickBooks integrated application. Using this feature, you can keep your QuickBooks company file in sync with transactions that originated from other Pineapple Gateway resources like virtual terminal, mobile app, invoice manager, or hosted payment pages. Using sync, you are not processing the transaction again. Rather, you are simply pulling in the data from the transactions to QuickBooks and recording that payment for ease of reconciliation. To get started, you should have already logged into your QuickBooks company file. Go to the customer menu, find Pineapple, and choose Pineapple Sync. A dialog box will appear, and it's important to note that there are two different methods for syncing. First is manual linking, which requires your intervention, but gives you a greater level of control and accuracy. With manual sync, a list of transactions to sync appears. You click on the record and match it up to the customer in your QuickBooks Customer Center. Alternatively, you can choose to automatically link to a customer. Using this method, no human interaction is required in the matching of a transaction, as you're solely relying on our system to use logic and matching names on the transaction to names in the QuickBooks Customer Center. When a match is found, a payment record is recorded to that customer. If a match cannot be made, but the transaction included names, we will add a new customer to your QuickBooks Customer Center and record the payment there. If a match cannot be made and the transaction excluded names, then no action will be taken and that transaction will not get synced to any customer in QuickBooks. So depending on your preferences, you decide which method works best for you. For the purpose of today's demonstration, we'll show you the manual linking process. To begin, you'll see the latest sync date and sync start date. The last sync date is recorded to show you the last time you ran this process so you can easily pick up right where you left off. Sync start date is the date you want to bring transactions in from that point moving forward. The date range will begin at your sync start date and end at today's current date. If you get your dates mixed up, that's okay. With sync, you never have to worry about duplicate entry. We skip payments that were already recorded in QuickBooks. Next, choose your default bank, AR, asset, and revenue accounts. This syncs to your chart of accounts in QuickBooks and is used in creating payment records and general ledger entries. Now that all selections are made, click Start Sync. A dialog box appears notifying you that sync could take a long time. The duration time varies depending on how many transactions you are syncing and how large your QuickBooks company file is. Recommended best practice is to back up your company file since there's no way to roll back or undo the sync. Sync starts by reading through your list of customers. That'll help the name matching step. Next, Sync reviews which transactions it needs to bring over from the gateway. Here are two transactions that need to be synced. Click on the first record that you want to sync. If you have a large sync list, you can click on any of these column headings to sort through the list. For today's purpose, the top transaction is selected, which is for John Smith. The name appears on this transaction matched perfectly to a customer in the QuickBooks Customer Center. If it wasn't a proper match, you can reselect a different customer using this scroll bar. As for applying the payment, you can apply it to all open invoices or create a new sales receipt. Lastly, if you needed to create a new customer for this payment, there is an option to do so here. You can also choose to skip a payment. To move forward, click Next to move on to the next payment. Mackey's Nursery was also a perfect match. Proceed by clicking Next. Confirmation will appear that you've reached the last record in the list. Click OK and finalize by clicking Done. You'll want to finish Sync and move on to recording those payments. You'll see the Sync is processing manually record 1 of 2, 2 of 2, and then the confirmation that that process is complete. Click Close. To review how that payment was synced, pull up the customer from the list, such as Mackey's Nursery. Here you can see the original open invoice and then the payment that was just synced. If you open this, you'll see it is a standard QuickBooks payment record. The only unique thing is the Pineapple Gateway Transaction ID number recorded into the memo field. This completes the demonstration of the Pineapple Payments QuickBooks Sync process. 
I recommend you review our QuickBooks user guide and watch other video demonstrations for additional support. If you have any further questions, please contact your sales representative for assistance.